Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk about things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, all of that juicy goodness. I am an intuitive reader, a manifesting coach, a Reiki practitioner, a life path guide, and mentor to help you along your spiritual awakening journey to help you co-create the life of your dreams. And we are here for our weekly energy reading. It is August 28th, Monday, as I'm filming this. And it's a gloomy day here, but breezy. It feels a little bit like fall. And I've been waiting to do this reading out here, but the lawn guys were here. There was construction going on with loud saws and stuff. So it's a little late, um, but I wanted to make sure the conditions were lovely and relaxing so that you guys can get the messages that you need to hear. So actually tomorrow, little fun fact, tomorrow is the anniversary of my daughter's passing, August 29th, 2012. Um, it was such a memorable day for me. It wasn't an abrupt, uh, I don't want to say it was sad, but it wasn't like an abrupt, like traumatic moment for us. It was a decision we had to make. The doctors guided us um, to take her off of her oxygen that she was receiving. She had a muscle disorder when she was born and she started to get better in the first three weeks of her life. And she started to actually move her arms and legs and we got our hopes up. And then she started to have these episodes where she couldn't swallow because you're, if you think about a muscle disorder, all of your muscles throughout your body are now not functioning. So she struggled to breathe. She struggled to swallow. So she would have these S, uh, episodes where she would, um, you know, choke on her own secretions. So she had to have oxygen blowing air to keep the secretions down. So she wouldn't, um, choke. So I don't even like to use that word. Um, and for years I had a fear of my nieces and my nephews and people drowning or choking. So that was a whole nother thing that I had to go through a healing with. If I'm around a pool with kids. I start to freak out a little bit, but now I'm better, but on her last day, we took her off of the oxygen around 10 and it was the first time ever she didn't have any wires. She, I could walk around with her. They gave us like this cool little hotel room within the hospital and I had a queen bed and a rocking chair because the whole time she was alive in the hospital, we shared a room with like four, three other babies and we just never had our privacy. I could never walk around with her. So even on her last day, I felt like I got to do some new things with her. And there was a nonprofit organization um, that the hospital, I guess, works with. And it's called Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep. And it's um, beautiful photographers that come in and take last day photos. So I have a bunch of black and white photos from her last day. So 10 a.m., we took all the oxygen off. She only had her feeding tube through her nose so she could still get fed. Um, and she just hung out all day. My boyfriend's family came from North Carolina to say goodbye. My family came to say goodbye. She could have lasted a week. She could have lasted two hours. We didn't know. So it was like on call. We just were going to be there with her. And around 6, 16 PM, she took her last breath in our arms and it was pe peaceful and calm. And she had a little bit of morphine. So she didn't feel any kind of ickiness not being able to swallow and not being able to breathe. So it was a very, very peaceful day. It's a great memory for me, as opposed to some parents who don't get to say goodbye to their kids. They watch them suffer in pain. Um, so as much as my situation was not ideal and I don't wish it upon anybody to go through that, but it was still, I can still see the bright side of how I was blessed. I was allowed to be there and hold her as she transitioned. Um, and I just will never forget it. And it was, I always say it's the day that I woke up and I could, I'm getting emotional right now, just thinking about it, but that's tomorrow. So we're going to celebrate. We're going to pull some cards. Um, let the emotion move through me. <laughs> All right. So let's ask Micah now that she's been my guide ever since then. And that was back in 2012. Um, so she would be 11 years old. Let's ask Micah through her cards, Micah Magic, that I created with her in memory of her. Let's ask her what you all need to hear this week. What message does she want you guys to hear? Thank you for listening to that. I wasn't planning on saying all that when I opened up to film today. Okay, step into the new you and make a plan to save money and more will come. Anytime I get this card, this means money's coming regardless, but your the universe and your guides and angels want you to open up 
and feel good about your current money situation so that you can allow more in. And when you allow more in, you're becoming new. You're no longer the person that has the story that you don't ever receive money or that you're not good with money. So this looks like it's gonna be a money reading. I like this. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right, Micah, what else did my viewers need to hear? Share the love. Let's get some confirmation on this. Who are we sharing the love with? Is it when we get the money, we should share it? I'm gonna do my other deck, the Ever Unfolding Heart that I created. This is the very first one. The breeze feels so good right now. And my hair is obviously parted with my fun buns and I can feel the breeze on my scalp. <laughs> I always said I wanted to know what it was like with a shaved head just to feel like nothing on your head. And right now I feel like I'm getting a glimpse of what it's like so good okay way too many cards thank you okay we have move your body it's yearning to release some old energy go for a walk run lift practice yoga swim dance play you are so lucky that you can move so do it with gratitude so i asked about share the love and i just heard that until you feel good in your body you can't fully share the love you can't fully step into who you're meant to be because you're not feeling great. When you don't feel great, you don't show up confident. You don't show up feeling like you can take up space in a room. Um, you kind of hide yourself a little bit more. You don't think your opinion is as valuable because you just aren't feeling good. But when we feel good, we're wanting to be out in the world. We want to share ourselves. We want to share our gifts and our love. Sorry if you guys can see the pool guy behind me. He just got here. I don't know if you can see him. Hopefully my body will block him so it won't distract you guys. Okay. All righty then. Let's get some spirit song tarot. This is my new favorite deck. It's an animal tarot deck. Seven of acorns. Hmm. A pentacles card. This is seven of pentacles. Determination and stamina. So I also see a figure eight in this card. Can you guys see that? It looks like a big figure eight. This big, this part's bigger. Um, and I don't know what animals they are. Sometimes I feel like they could be otters, but I'm not sure. They're looking really long to be otters. But seven of pentacles is kind of like the eight of pentacles is you're working hard with your abundance. Your seven of pentacles is like you're planting the seeds. Um, so it's determination and stamina. So a long time ago, some of you must have been manifesting something. You've been, you planted a seed a really, really long time ago. And now it's coming to fruition. It's coming true. And you have to go move your body and feel good to allow it to drop in. If you don't feel good and you don't feel good about your finances and you're not willing to step into the new version of yourself, sometimes the universe puts a pause on it and it doesn't arrive right away. So one of my favorite things to do is right before bed and right when I wake up in the morning, I put myself in the state of the person that has the money. So I really think about like me going shopping with my nieces and my nephews and being like, you guys can buy whatever you want. And like having that conversation out loud in my head and even saying it out loud, um, I also imagine myself pulling into my dream home in the driveway in my red Jeep that I want. And I have a pool in the backyard and I'm laying out with a yummy drink. And then I hear kids playing in the yard and then I get up and I, I put my little cover up on and then I walk to the garden. I'm gonna have a Micah's garden and it's gonna be all these beautiful flowers and amazing lawn ornaments like animals, deer, um, bunnies, frogs, and there's going to be a little water fountain in Micah's garden. So I have it all planned out in my head and I do this every night before I go to bed. So this is saying, plant those seeds into your subconscious. The more you imagine yourself in the life that you want, the more likely it's going to happen because the subconscious is going to grab it, hold on to it. And then your emotions, how you feel about this new life is what calls it in. So you have to literally, maybe that's what this card is saying. You have to literally, in your imagination, step into the new you. Who is that person? What is he or she doing every single day? 
I'm walking into Micah's garden. I'm laying out by the pool. I'm pulling into the driveway in my Jeep. I'm cooking meals for my family. And I even do that here. Like I just cooked three trays full of all like a variety of vegetables. I have cauliflower, block, broccoli, asparagus, garlic, peppers, spinach, um, zucchini. And I just cut it all up this morning and I put it on three trays and I just shoved it in. I acted like I was cooking for a lot of people as if I was hosting. Obviously I'm gonna save that food and it's gonna be meal prepped, but in my head, that's what I was doing. So planting seeds, let's get another spirit song. <laughs> this one popped right out. Two of crystals, yummy. This is two of pentacles and it's a kangaroo. Balance and adaptability. So two of pentacles is the perfect balance. You're balancing your feminine, mas your feminine energy and your masculine energy. You're balancing your finances. You're giving and receiving. You're knowing that when you put money out or if you have big bills to pay, it's gonna come back double. So the kangaroo kind of bounces around, trusting the process and it's not fearful of going anywhere. It's kind of dancing with life. I just heard it knows where it needs to go. It knows when it needs to go there. It's like a planner. It's like planning out where his next steps are going to be. All right. Let's get another one. This really is, all, there's two that just flipped. This really is all about money. Awakening and four of crystals, control and security. Renewal, enlightenment, the peacock. So someone's having an awakening around their money situation. They're realizing that they're not their bank account. You're not defined by how much money you have. You're defined by knowing that you're a creator and what you have right now is a result of what you've been creating in the past years in your life. But when you step into the new you and realize if you want to change your bank account or your reality, you go within. You don't go outside of you and start changing and moving everything. You go within, go to the imagination, rewire the brain, the subconscious, and you tell yourself a different story. You tell yourself, I am so worthy of receiving this. I was watching a video last night about manifesting and being really, truly worthy. And some people can easily say verbally, yeah, I, I'm worthy of this. But deep down, what are your emotions telling you? Is your, are your emotions telling you that you feel worthy? Or is there a little glimmer in the back of your mind that says, well, I did this bad thing once and I, I'm going to get in trouble for it. Or, you know, people find out it's not going to be good. Or I don't know, like I have so many clients that have these lingering past decisions, whether they were an alcoholic in the past, maybe a drug addict, maybe they stole money to get the drugs, but now they're not that person. They're healing. They're on a completely different journey. Or maybe they hooked up with a bunch of people and they're feeling really shameful about who they shared their body with and how they didn't take care of their body. But that's the old you. You're the new you now. You're on a whole different timeline. And you've learned that lesson. You don't do it anymore. And now you're allowed to receive. So when we have this belief that I was a so-called, I was not acting in integrity, I don't want to say bad person, but when somebody feels like maybe in the past they weren't acting in integrity, you have to let that go. You have to know that you are different now. What matters is the present moment. If you look back at your past, just imagine it all going to ashes. Imagine it just all burns down and it's erased. It's a clean slate. And now you can move forward with this secure feeling that you're now creating a new story, a new future. You are not your past. So if you have like, if you have debt, if you've been homeless, if you have struggles around money, this whole thing is about money. Um, if you have struggles about money, you are no longer that person. Take a deep breath. And from right here, right now, you are brand new. You are somebody who attracts money so easily. You are so abundant. So right now, if you guys were to win some sort of money or come into money, you would then feel abundant, right? You'd feel lucky. You'd be like, I can't believe this happened to me. You would be a new version of you. This new thing had never happened before. It's a miracle. So you have to go into that feeling state before it arrives. 
So you have to feel lucky. You have to feel like, wow, why am I supposed so special to get this? Maybe it's because you did really hard things in the past. Maybe you did not, not think you didn't do things in integrity, but guess what? When you learn and grow and you become different, you are changing the story. You are changing everything about how you're interacting now with the universe. The universe sees you learning the lesson. And now it's like, oh, we're going to bring them all the miracles because they got it. They're being different now. When people continue to stay on the same cycle and they continue cheating and they continue lying and um, they're just not honorable and they're lying to themselves, they will continue to receive that karma. They'll continue to receive things breaking down, things not going their way. And the universe is making the, well, they're attracting those things because they're not in integrity. Deep down underneath in their belief system, they're still doing the wrong things. So they're going to be the ones that create more chaos. So you're no longer that person. So you had this awakening. You're this beautiful peacock now, and you're ready to be enlightened. You're ready to be shown a different path. You are no longer that person. And you are now the lucky one. Okay. That is your new mantra. Why am I the guy or girl that receives everything? Why am I the guy or girl where everything just comes to me so easily? They call them ask formations where you're asking the universe for an answer. When you ask a question, the subconscious and the universe then looks to prove you, to prove that answer to you. It looks to give you the evidence. Okay. So we have the four crystals, which is all about like holding on to your money and not wanting to share it. It's control and security. So this is like you learning to be not so grippy and learning that when money goes out, you get it back double. The two of crystals is that balanced energy of understanding that the, um, Oh my gosh, I'm such a dummy. You guys, the crystals are cups. Are they? Oh my gosh, I feel terrible that I don't know this. The acorns, I think the acorns are the pentacles. Sorry, I'm going to look it up real fast. Either way, I read it the way I read it and it was meant to be, but let me just clarify. Oh, no, the crystals are pentacles. Okay, I was right. The acorns are wands. Okay, so I was good. The seven of acorns is the seven of wands. Okay, so that was the only mess up. I thought this was seven of pentacles, but it's still the same definition, determination and stamina. You're getting so close. You're releasing the burden. You're seeing more clarity about your life um, and around your money too. I'm still getting familiar with this deck. All right, crystals are pentacles, acorns are wands. Oh, Mother Mary is here to guide you. Let's get another message from Micah. This one flipped. <laughs> God says, just do it. Okay, so there's a decision you're needing to make. Whatever that is, just do it. If you don't know what it is, sit in silence and ask yourself, what decision do I need to make? And it's the first thought that will pop into your head. And I just saw at the bottom of the deck, you are the magician. So you can create the outcome that you want. <laughs> All right, within two weeks. That will lead us into September. Mother Mary's here to guide you. God says, just do it. You are the magician within two weeks. So maybe give yourself a goal. If it's a conversation you're needing to start, maybe it's to make a plan to save more money. Maybe it's to start a project. Give yourself two weeks. Say in the next two weeks, I'm just going to be guided to do it when I feel like doing it. Mother Mary, please step into me and use me for good. Show me the way. God tell, God's telling me to do it. Okay. And I'm the magician, which means you can create the outcome that you want. Go to bed each night, imagine yourself doing, seeing, and feeling the things that you're wanting to call in. Or if you're having a conversation with somebody, if you're wanting to end something or quit a job, imagine how you would want that conversation to go, okay? All right, we are going to end with 
um, Angel Wisdom Tarot. I almost forgot the name of this deck. Another tarot deck. What decision do we need to make, Spirit? What decision do we need to make? Moving towards someone, the chariot. It says rewards that come from hard work, successfully balancing many priorities at once, determination and willpower, public recognition. This also means movement towards somebody. You're completely balanced. The black and the white horse are the yin yang, the masculine and the feminine energy. Somebody is completely balanced and they're ready to move forward in their life. Successfully balancing many priorities at once. Determination and public recognition. So you're being seen for your greatness. The universe is rewarding your greatness. Yes. And then we have seven of wands. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. And eight of wands is fast communication coming in. So it's almost like when you stand up for yourself and you don't settle, I just heard somebody's settling for less. Somebody is still attracting partnerships that are not of high value. You still have people that are not um, treating you the way you deserve to be treated and you're entertaining them. They're still in your auric field. But when you stand up for yourself and you say, go away, I don't want this anymore. I'm not a match to this. I'm actually repulsed by it. Now you're in the eight of wands energy. You're moving up. You're moving up from seven to eight. The eight of wands is fast movement. It's explosion. It's almost like the chariot. It's like success. Okay. So in the beginning of this reading, we saw that we're needing to make a plan to save money. And I forgot to add that what you can do is you can start to play with your retirement money or inheritance money that maybe you have saved somewhere or um, maybe just money in your savings, pull some money out energetically in your head and pay off things that you need to pay off. And then sit with that feeling of, all right, I just paid it off. I feel so good. That money's going to be replenished now. When you make that energetic plan, your energy softens. You start to just feel a little bit lighter and you're not so bogged down by your finances. And when you do this, wait until you see what happens. You'll start to attract more money. You'll start to attract people doing things for you, buying things for you so that you don't have to pay. And when we step into the new version of ourselves, we make a plan to save money. We start attracting more money. We have the two of crystals, which means we're balanced, really balanced. We have the chariot that's saying we're also balanced. It's like you've got everything's clicking and you're the magician. And you're seeing how far you've come. You're seeing that you are creating this new version of yourself. You are no longer the person with that old money story that you can't ever make money. You are now the lucky girl or guy that receives things so easily and so effortlessly. And God's saying, just do it. Be consistent with your imaginal acts and your practices every night before bed, every night, every morning when you wake up. The more you do it, the more your subconscious holds on to it. It glues and sticks and then the universe pulls from the subconscious and gives you it in your reality. So if you have any thoughts of, oh, I'm not worthy. I did this bad thing in my past. I don't think I can receive good. The universe is pulling from that feeling, that emotion. Your subconscious holds emotion. Your conscious mind is logic. So we have to use the logic to impress the subconscious and then generate a new emotion. You're the lucky person. Remember that. Your every hope, your every wish, your every dream is meant to become your reality. I mean that. It's really going to happen. I am proof. So many great things have happened to me. If you would have told me back in 2012, tomorrow, when my daughter passed away, that I would be doing this right now and that I would be attracting money and, and helping people and helping people heal, I would have been like, you're bonkers. I had no, to no toolkit to do this work. And to see where I've come and how far I've come, it is literally night and day. So what if you're like me and what if you're like the version of me back in 2012? You have a future ahead of you that you can't even imagine and it's gonna be the best life ever. The best is yet to come, you guys, remember that. All right, if you need help, I do one-on-one -on -one readings, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, I can help you co-create the life of your dreams because I've done it. All right, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell and I will see you in the next one. All right, peace out.